an accident. A firefighter in the right place at the right time. Good evening. I'm Jim Vance. Doreen is off tonight. The D.C. firefighter was on his way to work this morning. He noticed the driver had crashed his truck into a creek and he got busy. They're calling the firefighter a hero tonight. He says what he did was all in the line of duty. Jackie Benson is here now with more on this story. Jackie? Well, Jim, rescuers say that because of the light holiday traffic, the injured truck driver might not have been noticed for hours, submerged in the freezing water and unable to pull himself out. These pictures show the aftermath of an accident that happened suddenly, violently, about 5.30 this morning. A fuel tanker headed southbound on I-270 in Gaithersburg struck a guardrail and plunged off a bridge about 75 feet straight down and landed on its side in Seneca Creek. It was cold and it was dark, but that did not stop three men from running down the embankment to see if they could help. One of them was Roger Francois, seen on the right of the screen, wrapped in a blanket and wearing a blue baseball cap, supporting the dazed and injured driver. I said, I got to stop to help him out. So I parked my truck all the way down. Me and a couple guys, we all went down there and pulled him out. One of those guys was a D.C. firefighter, Captain Demetrius Vlasopoulos, on his way to work. A 17-year veteran of dealing with disasters, Vlasopoulos said he relaxed a bit when he noticed two things. That the fuel he smelled in the water was diesel, less flammable than gasoline, and that the driver was conscious. The problem was he was in the freezing diesel-filled water and struggling to get out. He made his way to the rear truck, but he couldn't get his legs up out of the water high enough to get footing on anything. I said, you know, let me just take my shoes off and my socks and my coat and I go in there. There's no undercurrents. It's, it's really no big deal. And I reached down on his lower extremities and I gave him a boost up to the other two gentlemen. Moments later, Montgomery County firefighters responded to the scene. They scrambled to rig a ladder truck as a crane to pull the driver, Robert Kinder of Hagerstown, to safety. He was flown by helicopter to a local hospital and treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The third rescuer was a firefighter from New York who was just passing through the area. The cause of the accident is under investigation. And by the way, the tanker was empty. The diesel fuel spill was from the truck's ruptured gas tank, but rescuers did not know that at the time. Jim? Jackie Benson, thanks. As well. Happened between Route 118 and 124 in the southbound lanes. Fox News' Malini Bawa has the story of the Good Samaritans who came to the rescue. It was just before dawn when the tanker flipped over on 270, plunging some 75 feet, landing in Seneca Creek. Another driver, Roger Francois, saw the whole thing. I think that he probably lose control or something. Nothing could do, just park my car, and I have a few guy with me. And we all went down there to save his life. Hard as it is to imagine, this was the truck driver Robert Kinder's lucky day. Two others who stopped to help were a New York City paramedic and a D.C. fire captain. He was in the water. The water was very cold. That was clearly the main concern. And I went in, uh, I put my arms around his legs, boosted him up enough where the two other gentlemen on the cab were able to pull him up to the cab and get him out of the water. Despite the freezing water and the odor of fuel, the men who came to the rescue didn't hesitate. You see? Thanks for helping me out, but it's been a pleasure for me to help him out. Another stroke of fortune, the 8,500-gallon oil tanker was empty, minimizing fire and environmental damage. Well, fortunately, he didn't have any, he wasn't carrying any product. This is a gasoline tanker. It was essentially empty. However, there was a small fire. There was some residual fuel. Looking at the height of the drop and the damage to the cab, you can see why the driver might consider himself a lucky man. Seven hours after the accident, crews finally hoisted the crumpled cab onto a flatbed truck, grateful that the injury and damage wasn't worse on this Thanksgiving day. In Germantown, Malini Bawa, Fox 5 News. Tonight, the driver of the truck is in serious condition at Suburban Hospital. Maryland State Police say they may charge the driver with negligence or failure to control speed. The owner of the tanker company, AC&T, says the driver has worked there 10 years and has never had an accident. Just ahead.